Hello and welcome everyone. We are live here from San Francisco today and we are going to talk about how social collaboration will streamline your marketing efforts. So that's me. Uh, my name is Christian Blomberg. I am uh, the product sales specialist for Podio. Um, let me introduce our two speakers today. Uh, we have uh, Veronica Pralia. Uh, I'm not sure I pronounced that correctly, Veronica. You can correct me later. Uh, she is a senior marketing specialist here at Citrix, and she has been instrumental in changing the way that the marketing team at Citrix was managing their webinars as well as other aspects of their marketing team, uh, bringing it out of, you know, she will tell you about this, but out of uh, document chaos and uh, lots and lots of emails trying to track this and uh, bringing it all into Podio. So she will share her experience with you guys. Uh, looking forward to that. And our second panelist here is Jason Isaac. He's a senior graphic designer at Cirque du Soleil. Uh, he played a key role in, in Cirque du Soleil, also uh, moving on to Podio, changing the way their marketing organization collaborates. And uh, he will share his story with us here today, uh, as well as giving us a live demo of their actual setup of Podio. So uh, really excited to see that. Uh, Veronica, I think I'll just hand it over to you and you can get, get started. Awesome. Well, thanks, Christian. And you're close enough. Uh, Veronica Puailoa, got that Samoan in there. <laughs> um, but as Christian said, I'll be running through the benefits of using a project management tool like Podio um, over other options, kind of like those, well, he kind of mentioned that those kind of dreaded Excel spreadsheets. Um, so spreadsheets used to be the only logical way I feel like to organize large amounts of information and unfortunately uh, the more details that you include the hairier and messier these documents become. When running a webinar uh, like we do over here at Citrix there's usually large amounts of data that need to be tracked and recorded and when you use a spreadsheet all of those columns and rows of information are virtually impossible to organize, track and share with much accuracy at all. Um, Although each member of our team, there's three people who are on our webinar team here at Citrix, we each manage a certain set of events based on product sponsorship. We still need access to our overall schedule when planning events, coordinating speakers, and, and other reporting demands. So when one of us would try and save that data or try and access the other's events information, we would get locked out of the spreadsheet or we wouldn't be looking at the most current version. So data would inevitably get lost and we would be working in a very compartmentalized view. So this is where Podio has completely transformed the way we not only manage our webinars, but how we work together. So at the top of this slide, you can see some of my favorite apps within Podio. Uh, today I'll actually be going over four of them, but apps are completely customizable to fit your exact needs. Um, so you'll have building blocks and you can, you can, you can make them be whatever you want. Um, and later on in the presentation, Jason will actually be giving you a live demo of the webinar. Um, so for now, we'll just kind of go through some screenshots here. So um, in Podio, managing projects and teams is easy. Uh, all you have to do is invite your code workers into your Podio workspace and then drag and drop the building blocks on the left to create custom apps to store your work. Now, these are just a few of them, but for example, I clicked on the text building block and named the field webinar title. Um, I also have a category building block to create the status field where I can select done or in progress or not started. Um, another one you can see here is that I've taken the date building block and made it into the webinar date field. I won't go through all of them, but I'll show you what they look like in the actual app and how they've helped in the webinar planning process. So in order to dynamically store data associated with our webinars, we, we like I said, created a number of apps to house the information. But the first and I think the most important overall of all of these apps is definitely the webinars app. Um, so here, here's a screenshot of kind of 17 webinars that I have coming up. So in this slide, you can see the title, the status, the week that it's happening, as well as the date, the product, the guest speaker, moderator, and then there are a bunch of other fields that if you scroll over, you can, you can actually see everything associated with each event. So um, you can also customize this view to, so you can see exactly what you want to look at. And you do that by clicking, on, um, by clicking on that tools button kind of above right there. And you can select which fields you actually want to view. So if you don't want to look at you know, the week of the webinar, you don't have to. You can make the view whatever's easier for you. So 
This app has allowed us to create a master entry for each event where all data is stored and then everything associated with that webinar. So everything from contracts to speaker details and history to promotions, everything, it can be linked to each event in this app. So that's why it's so important. So when looking and viewing the webinars, you can use the filter function to pull up exactly the events that are you, are, you wanted to see. So, so here I want to see the webinars that I'm managing during Q3 to kind of give me a comprehensive view of my workload. But I can filter by any categories that I use to create the app. So any of those, any of those fields there, status, date, product, et cetera, I can, I can filter that and pull up exactly what I want to look at. So in the Excel spreadsheet, it was, you know, you had to create filters and you had to sort and it just, it would, it would just lose data. Or, you know, you can't, you can't get a good view here. Here you can make it exactly what you want to see. So. Let's look at one detail, a one event kind of in detail. Um, so you just click on the webinar that you want to look at and all the information is pulled up. So this is actually the entry for today's webinar. And there, and these are just some of the fields that I have, but the first one here is, is the title of the webinar. Um, I usually put the date in brackets just so that when I'm looking at it um, in the bigger view, I can see the most important details to me, which is date and title. And then I have all of that obviously segmented throughout. Um, status details are right below that, so I can quickly and easily see what needs to still be done. This is vital. So if I still need to, if I want to find out which webinars still don't have copy, I can actually filter by waiting on copy, and then all of those will show up on my screen, and I can be like, oh, I need to reach out to that guy, you know, ASAP. So those are great, those are great fields to have. Uh, the next ones are kind of related to the date and when when they're taking place. Oops, sorry, sorry guys, trigger happy here on the click. Um, so we've got quarter here, we've got the week, and we've also got the webinar date. So the reason I put the week in there, if, if you're running a lot of webinars and you're in the planning process, I know on my end, I definitely don't want to have more than three webinars in one week. So when I'm starting to place the dates out, I'll actually select the week in the quarter so that when I'm looking at the full view, I can see, oh, I already have three webinars for week five. You know, that, that's about it for me. So, you know, and every program is different, but that's, that's a great tool that I definitely would suggest keeping in your, in your app there. So the next one, the next kind of set are for categories. So I have stage, lead product, and persona. And these are great because I want to see my mix of stages and targets when I'm planning and making sure that, you know, I don't have too many marketing webinars in the same month, um, that sort of thing. Again, these are completely customizable, so you make them what you want. So these next fields are actually about the content of the webinar. And I keep this all in the app, so everything's in one place. Um, so right here is the webinar copy, and this is this is essentially what we use to promote the webinar. So anytime I have a colleague that either wants to know what a webinar is about, or they want some text um, to socially promote it, they can actually come up here and look at the webinar copy and see what's been said, and take it and and move from there. No more having to email me and ask Veronica, can you send me the description? It's it's all in Podio. This down below here is where you keep track of the people that are, are presenting in your webinar. Um, and you'll notice these fields are a little different than the other ones, and that's because these are actually linked to different apps within my workspace. Um, so that what's, that's what makes them kind of special there. So, um, so if you click through uh, and you actually click on the influencer, it takes you to the influencer app. So every time I have Jason as a speaker, I will click him as the influencer here. Um, and when I, when I do that, it actually allows me to track you know, what they've been in, uh, what, what their uh, bios are. I can keep everything in one spot. So you can see here under related items, that's the webinar that we just selected him in. So it, it, it's all linked um, and together in one place. So, hey, Veronica. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, we had a question coming in here from Bob in the audience. Uh, he was asking if it would be possible to uh, to copy the webinar app that that you put together here. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, so I actually built this from scratch because we have so many details associated with our webinars because they're so large. But, but you can actually go into the app market, uh, which Christian will show you later in this presentation, and you can look and find the webinars app there and then take that and either run with it or you can add fields as you need them and kind of use that as a, a jumping off point. So, yeah, that's a great question. Yeah, you know, looking at you know the screenshot to the right here, you know, you can even see the old persona targets and the products and that kind of stuff, right? Which is you know our internal products, obviously, and our personas or targets, uh, which might you know obviously the products will be different, but also the persona or targets it can be very different. You might not right. you know be having that in there at all and so on, right? So uh, so the setup can be very very different. But I'll I'll show later on where you can go in and and find those, Bob. Yep, definitely. And, and that's what's cool about Podio is that you really do, you make it your own. Um, so when we had that spreadsheet and I, you know, I had all of these, these columns and rows, I, I actually took them, I consolidated some and I expanded others and I built it in Podio. So, you know, instead of having a huge Excel, you know, cell that had this webinar copy in it that was just huge, um, I, I now have it in Podio and it's, and it's, easily viewed um, it's not in the spreadsheet where you click on and you can't even see the full thing because there's so much there's so much text in there so so yeah um, definitely customizable and Christian will go through all of that yeah so um, just to get back into this live event here the next the next kind of features that I have within the webinar app are links um, so so this actually has all these promotion links um, that that are available to people outside of the webinar team that want to promote the webinar. So, so when my colleague comes in and she wants to make a post on Twitter, um, but she doesn't have the link to the webinar or the description, she comes into Podio and she can go back up to webinar copy, pull some information to create a tweet or a post, and then down here I've actually created a social media link field, and I've put in there a link that is tracked. So all she has to do is just copy and paste that and then she has all the information that she needs. So it's all in one place. Um, another benefit of using Podio is that it, you know, it really does do away with that email clutter. Um, so, so any question that I have or that my colleague has related to an event, we just go into that event within Podio and then we at mention each other at the bottom here. So you can see some of the conversation that we've had on this one event. Um, that person will be notified that they have a message and then they can actually it will take them directly to this event so we know exactly which event we're, we're talking about and then they can respond by at mentioning me and keep the conversation all in one place so so no more kind of searching through your outlook for email everything is is in one spot it is it is relieved my outlook uh, clutter uh, significantly it's it's pretty amazing so um, all right, so let's get going here. So the other, the last kind of piece I'm going to go through on, on this um, on this one entry within the webinar apps is the linking. Kind of, I mentioned it a little bit above with the speakers, um, but this is when we have external um, things associated with the webinar, things being contracts or promotions. We can actually link them to the main event in Podio. So I can see here that I've got one social promotion that has been linked to this, this event. I've got a contract and I've also got one promotional uh, drop for this. And I'll, I'll go through some of that here in a second, but it's nice because it, it kind of takes away all these other spreadsheets. So we would have a spreadsheet for webinars, we would have a spreadsheet for contracts, and then we'd have to try and, you know, see, oh, what contracts is this related to and open up it's open up a different spreadsheet. It's just it's too cumbersome. So this way, everything is in one place, which is wonderful. So let's. I'm going to kind of go through um, a little bit of the contract and budget apps here, so you can kind of see how those are are are. They may not be webinar apps, but they are apps that we create and use in the webinar program. So <clears throat> so by creating an entry for the contract with our speaker within the contracts app. We are able to track vendors, which webinars they're associated with, if they've been contracted yet, and if they submitted their invoice and how much they are charging. So by selecting the webinar it's affecting within the associated webinar spot, the contract now shows up as a related item within the webinars app. So again, no more searching for files, for contracts, every, everything is linked. Um, 
We also manage budgets. So with every contract uh, that, a, that we create for a vendor, is, it's also not only linked to a webinar, but it's also linked to a budget that tracks spend. So when I select the budget that spend is coming from, the contract will also show up as a related item within the budget app and the webinar app. But the budget app, I've created it to where it actually has a calculation built in. So the calculator building block it adds up all of the cost entries for all the contracts that are associated with it and it adds it up to see and it adds it up in the allocated field so we can actually see how much money we've spent how much is remaining based on every contract that's linked and um, I had to uh, blot out here because this is actually our our, our live contract <laughs> app and budget app so definitely don't want to give you the figures but I wanted to kind of give you really? a sense of, of <laughs> yeah of, uh, kind of, of what you're looking at and what what Podio is capable of doing so. And another thing to actually look yeah. at here as well, I think, which is interesting. You know, this is a completely different workspace, right? Yep. Uh, yep. We'll we'll get back to the concept of a workspace later when when Jason is going in and, and giving the live demo. Uh, but just knowing that you know we have a concept of different workspaces, and what we looked at before was the uh, you know the marketing workspace, and we're now in uh, in a budgeting or what I don't know what you even call this workspace, uh, Veronica. Yeah, we actually, it's funny, we call this our webinar workspace, and that's because it's, yeah. it's, it's for our webinar team, so no one really needs to be a member to this because they don't need to see what our budget is or the contracts. A lot of it is financial. And the webinars yeah. app, we actually, we actually house that within our marketing workspace, so it's available to everyone in marketing. Um, and if they do have a question related to contracts, they can see the contracts associated with it and click on it, and it'll take them to this app if 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 we've given them access. Which, you know, if they don't yeah. have access, they probably shouldn't be looking at the contracts. So <laughs> it's kind yeah, of a exactly. nice way to, uh, to to monitor that as well. But yeah, it's you know, Podio is is very functional. Those building blocks really do. It, it, I mean, this app is completely different from the webinar app. But it's yeah. it's the same building blocks, you know. You, you you make it what you want. I I know I I love it when people come to me with requests to build uh, apps for them in Podio. But it's <laughs> it's fun. You, you people you know you, you really can. You make it your own. So and it just to 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 hear it in their voice when they go from a spreadsheet and they realize, oh my goodness, this is what it you know this is what it can be. It's 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 amazing. So um, I love Podio, and that'll kind of take me to to my final slide here. Um, which is everything's connected in Podio. Um, you know, conversations are organized in groups. It kind of gives you that that three dimensional overview of an event because you have different apps that are then linked to your main entry within the webinar app. So you know, it's it's it organizes all of your data and nothing is lost. And and really, a huge thing is you really do have those real time updates. So. When I update something, if I'm in a meeting and I update, um, you know, a, a speaker cost in, in an app, it will automatically update everywhere else so that people are now dealing with the live numbers. It's, it, it's been transformative in, in, our, in the way that we work and the way that we manage our, our events. So I'll hand it back to you, Christian. Yeah, thank you so much, Veronica. That was that was really great, and I'm sure there will be lots of questions for you also as we uh, return to that towards the end. Um, for now, I am going to hand it over to our good friend Jason from Cirque du Soleil. Hi, everybody. How you doing today? Um, so, a little bit about uh, Cirque and Podio. Um, I mean, we we've always prided ourselves over here at Cirque as being in a being innovative and industry leaders, um, and Podio is one of those things that has allowed us to, you know, continue to advance. Uh, there's been a lot of talk thus far about, you know, using Excel, and for its time, Excel was was one of those, you know, innovative things. Uh, but that was 20 or 30 years ago, and <laughs> Podio is is that new innovation. It's that new leap. It allows you to work seamlessly, fluidly, and you you don't run into those same issues over and over of, you know, multiple people working off the same document. Somebody opens up the document, starts making changes, and then somebody else opens up the document and starts making changes at the same time. Stuff gets saved over, you lose it, it makes it impossible to track. Podio allows you to move very fluidly, and that that's one of the things we've really enjoyed about uh, working with this program here within our marketing department as it's you know growing and becoming adapted by the the rest of the CERT culture it's branching out into 
uh, sales, PR, and so forth and so on. Um, so just to kind of dive in here a little bit, um, see if I have controls yet. There we go. Uh, so prior prior to you know Podio being involved in the, the Circ atmosphere, uh, everybody was working off of Word docs, emails. Things were getting lost. We were missing deadlines. Uh, and if any of you are in the advertising and marketing community, you know you miss deadlines. You could miss the spot, or you have to pay some kind of late fee, or you're paying rush charges at your printers trying to trying to get that job out there. Uh, it also makes uh, managing jobs near impossible. You can't plan for the future. You can't figure out, okay, next year this is what we're going to do, and this is where, how we're going to time it out because we're, you know, things get lost. There's no accountability. You can't track them. You can't find them. You don't know who's working on stuff. Sometimes jobs get assigned to somebody, and because it's just in a Word document somewhere or it's just something that's been left on somebody's desk, you can lose it through attrition. It can just fall to the wayside. It becomes a back burner project. Next thing you know, next year's marketing plans coming around in our in our industry, and whatever happened with that job? Well, it died on somebody's desk. Podio helps you solve those issues. It allows you to have accountability. It allows you to double check on things and have that transparency. Um, I don't know why that's not working. Uh, so that's that's probably been the biggest win for us is transparency, and it goes very high level right down to something very granular. So I mean, with the size of our company, and it doesn't matter if you're you know a, a small you know boutique little shop that has you know four to six people, or if you're just a sole proprietorship that's one person, right up to a major corporation. The the transparency that you're gonna get off of this program. It could be the the difference of you know expanding or contracting your your business and having to lay people off or being able to hire and bring in more revenue. Uh, for us here at Cirque, it's great because my senior vice president he can see what's going on in the marketing department on a very high level, or you can shoot down, get very granular, and the person that I'm working on you know the call rack card with can track the status. If they go into a, a meeting, they don't have to worry about getting an updated report. They can bring it up and actually look at it in real time. I could say, hey, I'm working on it right now. They're going to the meeting. And then I can just shoot them a quick text. It's been updated. And then they can work live with the, with the end user, the client, or our partner and show them where we're at on these different jobs. So. I've already kind of gone into this uh, a little bit, so I'm jumping ahead of the slides. I apologize. Um, but in addition to that transparency, <laughs> we you know we get the status on the jobs right away. You know, a lot of a lot of marketing agencies or uh, internal advertising agencies that I've been a part of, we have a weekly meeting or a bi-weekly meeting where you have to status on your jobs. You run through the list, and you know tracking everything has to you, you have to dedicate time to that. With this kind of a system, you don't have to do that. Yes, you'll still have to have you know the quick conversation here to there, but you're not going to have to every Monday sit down with your your whole team and status. Hey, where's this thing at? Where's that thing at? Are are we following up over here? You don't have to do that because you're just clicking and going through Podio as you're doing these different tasks, and that's pretty much what Veronica was uh, touching on uh, earlier that it has those capabilities. Uh, another giant win for Podio in in our mind and in my mind uh, is the fact that it's mobile. There are other project management systems out there. Uh, they may not be structured and organized like Podio, uh, which is another win for the system, but a big advantage is it's mobile. A lot of these uh, other systems out there um, they're expensive. You have to pay for, you know, put one on every computer. And in addition to that, you're limited. You have to be in the building. You have to be networked in. With Podio, you don't have to do that. Um, like I mentioned earlier, one of our marketing managers may be off working with uh, a partner like MGM, statusing on one of our jobs, we'll call it COP. If they were on another system that wasn't like Podio, 
they couldn't do that. They couldn't bring it with them because Podio is mobile. They can put it on their smartphone. They can put it on their tablet. They can look at these things in real time. Uh, I've, I've even, I'm not sure how many of you have actually seen um, the, the YouTube video that Podio did with our system. But uh, an, an easy example of this is, you know, I was, I was walking through the Bellagio. I'm, I'm checking on signage for the one night for one drop initiative. Meanwhile, I've got a hot job coming in. We've got to get these rack cards to print for tickets for tonight because we need them in hand the next day for a promotion. Because of Podio, I was able to watch the job get updated in real time by one of our, uh, one of our other designers. I got a push notification into my phone, so I got pinged when it actually was updated at that time. I could review it in Podio, make sure everything was correct, spell check it, look at the layout, and then partnered with another one of their sister, their sister programs, Box, I could then send the high-res artwork directly to the vendor. And this was all made possible because of Podio. Before that system, that, that would be impossible. They would have to wait for me to they would either have to email it to my phone and it would destroy my phone because of the size it is, or I, they would have to wait for me to come back to the office, review it, sign off on it, and then send it over to the, the vendor. We were able to do this in all of about a minute, minute and a half from my smartphone while I'm walking through a casino floor. And I mean, the power of this application is amazing. It can take you, if you're a small business, into a, a field where you can compete with larger companies on an even playing field. If you're a larger company, it could give you that edge to, to beat out your competitors or keep up with your competitors if they're another advancing company. So this, is, it, this can be a game changer for you. I, I, I know uh, Christian said he wasn't going to sell you. I'm not trying to sell you, but... <laughs> I, I, you're I, doing I, a great I, job, though. <laughs> it, it, it's made my life truly easy, and I, 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 really, uh, I really enjoy the, the system. So we're going to burn through this slide since I already I'm covered glad. it. I'm um, glad. Connectivity, bringing everything together. Uh, and we touched on the approval process a little bit. Um, and working with you know jobs that have multiple legs whether you're in marketing you're in sales uh, whichever space you you call home and operate in 40 hours a week um, there's often you know multiple things that you have to do to accomplish one goal uh, in addition to that you've got to get approval along the way even even if you're you know heading it you're still partnering with your other team members to you know get this going um, Podio is it, it's kind of that that middle ground, and it, it can it can kind of end the you, you still need meetings, but it works as a, a meeting space without having to partner everybody's time together, and and kill hours and hours because we're all so busy. Last thing you want to do is devote two to three hours uh, a day to meetings when you can have this system do it for you. Everybody can operate and update at their own time and move seamlessly. So it, it does help with that kind of workflow. Uh, it also allows for the approval process to happen. Instead of, you know, Bob saying to Sandy, did you get, you know, Tom's approval on this? Uh, you know, Bob can see that Tom already approved it and he can move and take it from Sandy's hands and pass it into Veronica's hands or something like that. It, it allows you to move seamlessly and keep going. Uh, it's also a great tool for project management. You know, seldom does anybody get to say, well, I'm, I'm only going to work on this one project for the next three weeks. We all work in a, you know, a fast-paced environment, and it's how many, how many different projects can you juggle at the same time, get them all, get them all out the door and get them to work, right? This, this is a program that does allow us to do that. Um, you know, in, the, in, in, our, in our department, we can have as little as, 50 jobs up and running to as many as 150 jobs up and running and various parts to each one of those. And this is a way for us to, to kind of communicate with all of them, keep tabs on them, and, and continue to move forward and not drop the ball. So we're going we're gonna to kind of dig in now a little bit to, um, to CERC's actual program, and I'm going to show you how we use it, kind of give you the structure here, and and 
get a real look at what I, I see on a daily basis. So let's, uh, let's move this out of the way for us. Uh, so another, this is, this is Podio as it exists, and I don't know how many of you actually have uh, had a chance to kind of dig in a little bit. Uh, but one of the big advantages is the fact that it's, it's based on common social media. So no matter if you've got some really, you know, young, energetic team members to somebody who may not be as comfortable with new technology, most people have some kind of social media. So because of this, you know, very common user interface, people adapt to it and they can they can take control of the or adapt to the culture that Podio will bring on. Um, so as you can see we've got right here this is you know the main main toolbar workspaces. Uh, this function right here it's very similar to the wall. Uh, it, it updates in real time as you can see I just refreshed it and it gave me the the most recently updated jobs. You can see here that uh, Megan updated the, the love flyers for us. Uh, she's also been working on some print ads for Zercana. So these are the, the most recently edited items right here. And the way this activity screen works is this works between all apps. So this is great for a real high level type thing. So if you're, uh, in my case, you know, my boss, the senior director of marketing or the VP of marketing, he's gonna wanna kinda see multiple different apps and what's being worked on this is a great function for him to get a high level of what's been going on over the last few hours. And then if you look up here, we have our go to workspace and this is where all the various workspaces live. Uh, everything from Circ Club, Project Brief, social media, web requests, and then our graphics traffic management system. This is graphics traffic management system is kind of the bread and butter of Podio for us. But this wall right here, will give you recent updates on all of these different um, apps. So yeah. I just want to also touch on that very quickly, right? You know, as we saw with, with, with Veronica before, she was showing how, you know, she was referencing apps throughout multiple of her workspaces. And this is where you navigate between those different workspaces, right? So these workspaces are really, you know, the different groups that you're working with, right? So you might be working with, as you can see in, on Jason's screen here, you know, 15, 20 different people in the graphics traffic management workspace, whereas in the projects brief workspace, you might have, you know, a different set of people, right? Uh, so, so that's, you know, how the access also is broken down in Podio for those of you who are not familiar with that. And, and yeah, to, to evolve that a little bit more too, I mean, you also, like Christian says, you get to, if you're the admin, you get to pick who's going to have access to each one of these apps. Uh, yeah. You know, somebody in the sales department might not need, uh, you know, to work with um, the graphics traffic management, or they might, I don't know. But you have the choice and you can limit who gets to work in these different workspaces and who might not need to really have them in there. Uh, so right now we are in the graphics traffic management system and you'll see it looks just like the last screen. The only difference right now is this activity stream or the wall, um, it's only revolving around the graphics traffic management system. So if you know you have access to all of those five other apps, you're not going to get bogged down in the in the activity stream by the other stuff that's happening in those apps. It's going to give you just the things that have been happening in the graphic traffic management system. Uh, this is great, like I said, for high level, and you're starting now to get a little bit more granular and digging in. Uh, but let's. Uh, Let's kind of dig into the guts of it and go to our go to our, our jobs app. And this is, for me, this is where I you know this is where I live and die on a daily basis. This gives me everything that I need to know. Um, and you'll see there's 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 quite a bit going on here, so don't get discouraged. And you know it's it's very easy to navigate. Uh, I say that because I get to use it. You know. 12 hours a day it seems like uh, <laughs> but uh, you know once you get the hang of it it, it becomes second nature so um, this last view used uh, this is this is all your different filters so you get to filter and this is what Veronica was touching on with you know you have all these different fields in Excel and you don't necessarily need to see them all all the time so you can filter what information is displayed here and then you can you can save it. So I have a, I've actually saved a few different ones, and I've made them public, or you can make them private if you like too. So right here we have you know all jobs, 
uh, the latest number, open jobs and working chronological. So if I want to just see only the open jobs that are working, I can click here on working chronological, and these are just our open jobs. And then if you're not comfortable viewing it in this kind of a mode, I mean, I, I know we, we kind of bagged on Excel a little bit, but I mean, personally, I like I like the way it looks. It makes it easy for me to read. So I can then switch my layout, and if I want to view it as kind of an Excel spreadsheet almost, I can do that right here. And then these are fully dynamic, so you can move them and utilize in your workspace however you like. Uh, another Another thing is, so... Not only have I saved some, but one of our uh, marketing managers, her name's Megan, she's created her own workspace. So you can empower your team members and your partners to create their own view. You're not limited to just what somebody else sets up. And this is another huge win for Podio. Other systems out there, you know, once you set something up, it's there. Everybody's got to find a way to adapt to it, whether it fits their, their system or not. Podio allows you to make it yours and yours personally. So what works for, you know, Tom might not work for Stuzy. We want everybody to be the most effective team member they can be. And this is one of those ways in which Podio lets us accomplish this. So if we go to Created by Meg, Megan now already has a save filter. And she can just see the jobs that she's got going over here. And then if I want to, if I'm Megan's supervisor, I can come over there and see what she's working on, see the status of it right here, the date requested, the date due, you know, and, and filter it out in those different ways. Or I can bounce back and just see all the open jobs once again. We'll switch that back there. And, you know, there's a lot going on up here. And let me just kind of do a little quick housekeeping. I'm sorry, I get a little, a little weird about <laughs> that. It's, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, but then you have stuff like the, our filters here, and I can, this is where I can actually dictate what's going to be displayed here. So we can see what the status is. Um, I can look at the, the last edited, the date due. I can, I can update these fields to be whatever I want and look at whatever report I want. Uh, you know, I mentioned earlier, prior to Podio, we were working from Word docs, we were working from emails, we were working from Excel spreadsheets. And you have all this extra information. And then in addition to working from those Excel spreadsheets, and Veronica talked on this, um, you, you can't always get what you want. And, you know, so you make a spreadsheet, and then you make a spreadsheet of a spreadsheet. And then you make a spreadsheet of that spreadsheet that's a spreadsheet of another spreadsheet. <laughs> this allows you to cut out all that extra work. And when I need to see a report or create a report, I can come in here and I can limit these fields to be what I need them to be. So now instead of, all right, so for my senior director, I need to make a report of jobs open. And for my VP of marketing, I need to give him a report of everything that we've launched in the last couple months. I can limit all these fields and do that. Things that have been complete, I can, I can get really granular and say, uh, let's say we're, we're designer. All right, so I only want to see the stuff that I've worked on or that's open right now for me. So I just put put down Jason in there and then I click off over here. Now this is just the, just the stuff that's open that I'm assigned to right now, the status of them. And then if I want to get even more granular, I can come down here and see something that's due uh, within the next seven days or within the previous seven days or just the stuff that has to be at print today or the current week. So I can get really, really granular on it. Or like I said, and what I've saved over here is I can go back into my other one and, and really kind of zoom out as far as I want. I can plan for the future and it, it, it's all right here or I can plan for the day. And this is a great thing that, that Podio really does. And it's, it's so dynamic and it's so variable. And I know I'm using random words now it seems like but it really <laughs> does allow you to adapt and that's that's great that's power right there that's how you move forward in this industry um, so let's actually kind of dig in and another thing that's really great about Podio is you know I when when I set up this this system for Cirque's graphic traffic management I knew what I wanted you know, I've been I've been in the advertising industry. I've been in various agencies in-house, 
uh, external. I, I, I got to kind of pick and choose what I liked about each one system that they used and I incorporated it in here. That's great if you have that experience and you know what you want. Not everybody knows what they want. And it was already kind of touched on a little bit prior that they have an app store. So you, if, if you may not know what you want but kind of have an idea, you can take their starting building blocks and it'll give you a jumping off point. And then you can update these as you want. So, I mean, let's say you start with the starting building block and you go, wow, I, I, you know, this is great, but I... I really want to know the date requested so I can see the turn time and it may not have been in that app. Well, not, you just go back in there and add the date requested and then all the new stuff that you open up, you, you have that field. So it's, it's very comfortable and, you know, some people, you know, it, it, and, I, and I agree, it can be intimidating. If you don't exactly know what you want to do, it's like, great, I have this huge program at me that can do all these great things, but I don't know where to start. They're going to help you out, and they're going to give you that place to start if you need it. Or if you're an advanced user and you know what you want, you don't need to know where to start, well, then you can just dig in and do what Veronica did and build it right from scratch. So they, they can move between the different workspaces with you, and they can move between the different comfort levels of you and your team members. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm going to go through that also uh, very shortly, how you can uh, get started from scratch with some of these marketing apps that we've been touching on here. Yeah, sorry, sorry for stealing your your thunder. No, no, no. <laughs> Please go ahead. <laughs> so let's take a look at this job right here, the 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 Ka marquee that we're working on. And as you can see, we've got like a nice little quick view, and it allows me this way. If I need to pop between the different ones, it allows me to do that. But let's just expand it and you know get into the guts of it. Uh, so you can see here we have our project name, our project numbering system, um, and this because of Podio, this is actually become the backbone of our just our file structure in general because of this numbering system and this naming convention that's tracked within this system it's expanded our file management beyond Podio and into just our overall structure so now anything that I work on that's related to this Ka marquee right here is going to have the job 13227 attached to it that means if an email is sent in regards to this, it's got 13227. So no matter where I am and what I'm doing, who picks up the job and who needs to reference that job, search 13227, and it's got to bring up emails, it's got to bring up files, it's got to bring up everything. And that's, that's just, you can do that with, with, you know, without Podio, but you can't house it in one central location without putting it in Podio first. And that's what allows us to search dynamically for it. So if I forget what, you know, job number call marquee is, I come up here, I search for, let's just type in 13227, and it's gonna bring up anything that's got that associated with. I can see all the files that have been attached, and then I can just jump right back into it. And if I didn't know it was 13227, I searched call marquee, it's got to give me a bunch of options with Ka marquee in the title. Um, I see the date due, the date requested, who the designer is that's attached to it, uh, which what the status is, is it active hold, revisions, which marketing manager requested it, um, who her direct supervisor is or affiliate. So Karina oversees Megan, so she'll need to see what Megan's been working on. Uh, and then maybe if it's like a, a big, big initiative, maybe we have the senior director of uh, marketing over here as well. So he can, he can see everything that's happening in real time as we're going through it. Uh, this is something that I've found that really works for the, you know, the art department is having this latest version. I've mentioned earlier that uh, Podio is very mobile. It can go onto a smartphone. It can go onto a tablet. Uh, but storage on those devices is limited. You know, you might have at, at maximum, what, 16 gigs on a phone. Uh, most of us are running with 528 megs, whatever. Uh, this allows me to see what the artwork looks like without actually having to download it to my phone and eat up space. So you're just looking at it on the internet rather than downloading it and then reopening it. So if you're used to emailing PDFs and, you know, somebody, you know, somebody like me, who's not really cognizant sometimes of where the file is going, uh, sends you an eight megabyte art file. 
that that's not going to be fun to download and, and put on your phone and then open up. This is just going to let you take a quick peek at it and say, yeah, that looks good. Or, you know, hey, let's move, uh, let's move the logo down and add a character, something like that. Um, I can see which brand of ours is associated with. So this one is obviously associated with Ka. In addition to this, each one of these fields not only help you organize the job, but they also help you search the job. So you can search by anything in any one of these fields, which helps you out if, you know, a year from now, hey, remember that Ka marquee that we were working on? Oh, yeah, I don't remember the number, but I remember it was for Ka, or we did some signage for Ka. Can we see what we did? Uh, I can just search Ka, and it'll bring me up a list of jobs that are in Podio for Ka. Um, project info, and, you know, Veronica had something similar to this on, on her webinar, and this is just generic information about the job right here, anything I might need to build it. Specs, uh, ideas, creative resolution, whatever can go in here. Uh, these next two, we actually ended up adding them in after the app was built. Uh, we found that in some cases we partnered more closely with uh, somebody from the property, or if we, you know, had enough lead time and we were doing a big print job, uh, we could put the, the vendor or the print house or publication in here. Uh, what's great about these two things is if somebody that's working on the job uh, isn't in the office that day, let's say they're out sick, they're on vacation, or you know, they've they've moved on to bigger and brighter pastures somewhere. I, I don't mean passed away, but you know. Uh, Jason? Yeah. Um, I saw you had also a, a um, an, another app up in the top there. Can we briefly go through that? Uh, just we, we don't have so much time left. Uh, which one? Uh, the other app you have it up there, I think it was Campaigns. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. I was getting long-winded on you. All right, yeah, so let's, uh, thanks for reminding me. We'll, we'll jump back between, uh, we'll jump back over to Campaigns. Uh, so that's quickly the or long-windedly the jobs app but uh the great thing about uh about the jobs app and the other apps is you can link everything in between and we're in the process of developing this application right now to look at it from a more high level uh, and veronica touched on this you can link the different jobs and our campaigns app is is one of the ways in which we we can actually do that so you know when we're working on a large campaign you might have various ads rack cards you want to track the success of it um, understand the goals and, and improve it on the next year or decide to scrap it and go with something else this is how we're going to track that and do that uh, so we can see key metrics that we want goals and you can really customize this to be whatever you think is important but the truly great part about this in my mind is so next year when we're you know developing the the, the Summer of Cirque campaign, I can go into this this campaign, see how successful or unsuccessful last year's campaign was, figure out why, and then reference all the jobs that were associated with it last year. And it's all linked to it. So I can see all the jobs that were associated with it. And then I can start jumping to each individual one and actually see how that one worked and was resolved and how to evolve from there. Yeah. So, this really comes back to like the connectivity that you know we touched upon before, right? You know, being able to connect all these you know smaller jobs in, into the bigger picture, right? And giving giving the uh, upper management an easier way to get an overview of it. Yeah. So I mean, that's I mean, it, it really is. I can't boast enough how powerful. I mean, and that's I mean, there's definitely more to it for us. Uh, but you know, we're going to sum it up real quick right now. Uh, I just can't say enough how powerful this program is. Uh, it, it really does have the ability to, to, to take each company and each business space, whether you're in marketing and advertising, sales, um, whatever, whatever your space is, it is flexible and can relate to that space. And then communication is just one of those, you know, valuable assets that you have to have. In, uh, in order to, you know, be successful in whatever industry you are in. This is going to let you jump to that next level. Um, I'm, I'm done talking. I'll, I'll pass it over to you, Christian. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Jason. That was, that was a really great insight. Uh, it was very cool to, to be able to see live uh, as well, you know, what you guys have been setting up and how you've been managing to, uh, to bring everything in there. Um, I just have one question before I show everyone how they can get started. Uh, how, how did you, you know, get everyone on board you know how did you set this up and, and get people in there because I think that's that's a, you know one of the biggest challenges people see is like well you know we're not satisfied with what we're doing today but 
you know, I don't want to go through the efforts of changing it. You know, how, you know, what was the effort? Uh, I mean, the big thing is just it's really being diligent on it. Um, you know, whenever you roll something new out on a large scale, it's it's hard to get it to adapt to the culture. So, I mean, we started it off with just the marketing department, and then we expanded it to the you know another department and another department. But when we were expanding it each level at a time, you actually have to force everybody to kind of use it. I mean, people are going to want to go into their old habit. Yeah. And you know, it you, you just you got to be diligent. You got to say, all right, you know, I understand what you're saying. Uh, do me a favor, just go back, put it in the system real quick. Trust me, after like three or four times of doing that exercise, they're on board. They see the benefit of it. So you just got to get them to see the benefit, and once they do, you, you you're done having that conversation. Yeah. <laughs> and to add to that, just yeah, just jumping in and just making one successful case, it it creates a waterfall effect and then everyone everyone starts to get in there because it's impossible not to when you realize how how easy and how transformative it is to use. Yeah. And I, I think we see that with most of the companies that get onto Podio as well, you know, they're typically starting with a team or a department and you know getting a proof of concept ready and then spreading it out to you know, team by team or department by department, right? Um, so I want to show very quickly how you can get set up. I am only going to spend five minutes on this because we are uh, approaching the end of the webinar. Uh, but just wanted to show you kind of the next step here and we will of course share this link with you as well. Um, but I'll just show you, you know, for those of you who haven't signed up yet, but also those of you who have, uh, how you can get started with these apps. So uh, I will just sign up here. Uh, I will just use my Gmail because my work email is already being used. And I will go in here and sign up. Uh, because I'm a Google user, I can just connect right here. Uh, if not, we will send you an email uh, just to authenticate. And from here, I can go in and invite any of my colleagues. For the purpose of this, I will just go ahead and invite my colleague Jacqueline, and there she is. And I could, of course, invite her via email address and so forth. Uh, get any uh, any user permissions set up for her as well, and just add her into my workspace. So that's when you come into an empty workspace in Podio and you want to add some some structure to it. So I'll just click on Add App here, and as we talked about, you can jump into the Podio App Market to get some of these apps. And in the left-hand side here, you know, we have them broken down by their functional areas. So right now it's showing all of the apps in the app market, but I can go in and say, only show me the ones that are related to marketing. So here we have some uh, marketing campaign management, uh, search and display management, ISAC communication. Um, we have this marketing management pack, which I think is great. And this one is actually connected to that landing page that we will be sharing you uh, the link with. So when you sign up through that landing page and you don't have the sign up issues that I just had uh, due to the lack of having logged in there, uh, you will actually get this apps, uh, these apps pre-installed into, uh, into your workspace. So you just click next here and it automatically just puts all of these apps into your workspace and you can get started. So you know, if you don't know exactly, as Jason said, if you don't know exactly what it is that you want, it's super easy to come in here and start up with this template, and you can say, okay, well, I want to start creating my, my first campaign now. Let's have a look at, um, uh, at this app. I'll go in and add the first campaign, and I can say we have a campaign called Work Smarter uh, 2013, and I will pick my self as the manager for this and I can add um, anyone here into it as a, a project team member. I'll just put Jacqueline as my team member here. Uh, we'll have a go live date on the 21st of August and this is um, in our backlog. Could add any outline of it. I'll just add A, B, C, D and so on. And we have some key metrics this year. We have a budget field. I'll, I'll fill that in. Uh, and we have some targeted persona here, which actually looks up another app in this workspace uh, for personas. Um, I'll just save this. And again, this might be where you figure out that, well, okay, that's all well, but it's not exactly what I was looking for. Then it's super easy to come in here and just modify the app 
to fit exactly your needs. And there is tutorials available for all of this. Very simple. Just click on the question mark up in the top right uh, of audio here. Um, but you know, you can go in here and customize it exactly how you want. So you can say, okay, well, we have a go live date, but I also want to have an ending date. So I'll pull in another date field, and I'll just call that end date, and collapse that. And I also would like to add some images uh, to these campaigns here. And what else would we need? We would also like to see the progress of it. So I'll add a progress slider as well, and I'll just go down and and save this app. You can obviously do a lot more. You could remove other fields and so on. Um, but just to show you how this looks like, um, you know, I can go in now and open up the campaign I just created, and I can go in and edit it. And you'll see now that these new fields that I just added into the app are now available. So I have now a progress slider. I can say that we are about 15% into this. Uh, I'll put up an end date in the middle of October and say that we are now in progress and I could add an image here and so forth. So it's super easy to start customizing this and, and get going. Uh, so that takes us back to our finishing slide. Um, if there are any questions for, for Veronica, Paul, uh, Veronica and Jason, we can take some of those now. Uh, we are uh, at the top of the hour, so I know uh, most of you probably with your busy schedules need to get going. Um, uh, Jason, Veronica, do you have any final comments while I just go in and share the sign up uh, link by, with our attendees? Uh, I just have one one quick thing. I, I mean, guess. Uh, oh, go ahead. Oh, no, no, go ahead. I think there's a bit of delay. Go ahead. Uh, uh, the main thing is, I think that everybody really needs to remember is. You know, this this is a very powerful tool, but it is a tool, and it is affected by the the people who operate the tool. So, uh, I mean, hold hold your team accountable if you if you you know, and I encourage you to sign up and at least give it a good shot. Uh, but hold them accountable, make them use it, and I guarantee once they start using it, you're gonna have a lot of happy people, and you're gonna you're gonna save time, you're gonna save money. So just keep that in mind. Yep, and I guess on my end, just say, you know, jump in. It, it may not, you know, you, you may want to play around with it a little bit, um, test it out a bit, and then once you get what you want, yeah, move with it. Um, get people on board, and, and it'll be a success. Yeah, thanks a lot to, to both of you for, for joining us today, Jason and Veronica. Thank you all so much for attending, and uh, we look forward to seeing you on Podium.